Review, 2023 Range Rover Sport passes the plug-in vibe check. Land Rover redesigned the Range Rover for the 2022 model year, and now the luxury SUV's smaller, more athletic Range Rover Sport sibling has arrived for 2023. And what an arrival! On sale soon in the US, the Sport had its coming out in Madrid just a few weeks ago, where Land Rover ushered it through both off-road trails and on-road cruises, and still found time to showcase three distinct powertrains while also parading the vehicles through the streets of Spain's capital city in fashion runway formation. If you don't come away from the Range Rover Sport with the desire to be in it, I don't know if we can be friends. The same holds true for Madrid, where we flew, slept, a little, then drove to its northwest on a scorching 99-degree day and back in time for Tempranillo o'clock. Conclusion, the Range Rover Sport and the City 2 have an affable, ritzy vibe that some luxury vehicles and destinations spend years and millions to curate and fail. Like the Range Rover, the design of the Range Rover Sport follows a less is more philosophy. The exterior looks like it was hewn from a single solid, while the interior continues the clean crisp look we've come to expect from Land Rover. In a place like Madrid, where panache means hotels with indecipherable bath fixtures and an early dinner reservation at 9 p.m., the Range Rover Sport fits in perfectly. It's a statement piece of automotive jewelry, one with SUV proportions rendered in soft curves and a few plumb straight lines. The Range Rover long ago led the march away from boxy SUV lines toward a modern silhouette, the Sport nails it with retractable door handles, thin bands of LED headlights, as few cut lines as possible, and a slight wedge at its heels that gets capped by tall, thin LED taillights. You'll want to nest for hours amid the soothing tones and touch-friendly materials draped in its cabin. A curved 13.1-inch touchscreen dominates the center of the dash and a 13.7-inch panel of digital gauges wash the interior with a soft glow, reflected on a substantial amount of gloss black trim. Elsewhere, the sport's trimmed to a warmer standard than it was last year, with richer wood and leather and a less starkly defined dash. A few knobs control some major functions not buried in the touchscreens, but the shifter's too vague for most drivers to slip into reverse on first try. With no more third-row seat on its options list, the 2023 Range Rover Sport makes the most of its 194.7-inch overall length, 4.2 inches less than the similar Range Rover, and 118.0-inch wheelbase, identical to the bigger SUV. The front seats have, at a minimum, 20 ways of adjustment and real leather upholstery, to go with almost 3.5 feet of legroom. Land Rover can upgrade them with more adjustment, heating, cooling, and massaging functions, or even more fancy leather and coordinating leather and woven trim for the dash. The second row's excuse-free seating fits two people best, with 37.8 inches of legroom and enough headroom for six-footers to comfortably ride behind tall people in front. A third person can sit in the middle comfortably, but trust us, you'd rather choose the between-seat cooler that can hold a few small bottles of Rioja and some local cheese. Pair that with rear seat entertainment screens and power down the backrests for a great nap or fold the seats forward to boost cargo space from 31.9 cubic feet behind the second row to 65.9 cubic feet behind the front seats. Tuck it all away with a tap on the power tailgate and a day's worth of shopping gets locked safely away, whether it's golf bags or Hermes bags. All versions of the new Range Rover Sport move quickly into traffic slipstreams, carry themselves with poise on pavement, and trundle willingly off-road, but some versions do all that with more grace and efficiency than others. The Sport platform, shared with the larger Range Rover, supports a wide variety of powertrains, including an electric setup. Land Rover plans to have six electric models in its lineup by as early as 2026, starting with electric versions of the Range Rover and Range Rover Sport in 2024. We won't be surprised if the electric model is the most powerful in the Range Rover Sport lineup. However, before it arrives the title will go to a Range Rover Sport SVR, packing a V8. The Range Rover Sport P5 31st Edition, available in the 2023 model year only, comes equipped with a 4.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 good for 523 horsepower and 553 lb-ft of torque, or enough for 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in 4.3 seconds. It's delightful as usual, with a roarty soundtrack and muscular appeal, and it carries a tow rating of up to 7,716 pounds. 
The entry versions come with a 3.0-liter turbocharged inline-six and mild hybrid hardware. As the P360SA, the combination's good for 355 horsepower and 369 lb-ft of torque. It carries almost 5,000 pounds around though, and its 5.7 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time looks racier on paper than it feels on the street, probably because of its sewing machine smoothness, the effortless shifts from the 8-speed automatic, and the sure-footed traction of all-wheel drive. Above this is the P400SC Dynamic with the same powertrain as the P360SC, but with 395 horsepower and 406 lb-ft of torque, good for a 5.4 second 0 to 60 miles per hour run. Completing the range is the P440E Autobiography, which comes powered by a 3.0-liter turbocharged inline-six and an electric motor in plug-in hybrid configuration. This setup is good for a combined 434 horsepower and 619 lb-ft of torque and an electric range of about 48 miles thanks to a 31.8 kWh battery. Roughly as quick as the P400, it's zero emissions quiet at low operating speeds, and has an EV lockout switch or battery preserve mode to keep that silent power available in neighborhoods. 2023 Range Rover Sport, to the pavement and beyond. Regardless of the grade, the Sport comes with an air suspension, adaptive dampers, and terrain response traction controls. On pavement, the symphony of electronics, with the available rear axle steering of the most expensive models, which turns the rear wheels up to 7.3 degrees opposite the front wheels at low speeds for crisper turn-in gives the Range Rover Sport the button-down feel of a high-riding sports sedan. In the comfort drive mode, the ride quality is superb, and the steering builds up weight in useful ways, even with the enormous 23-inch wheels Land Rover sells. In sport, the Range Rover Sports steering gets truly hefty and its suspension lowers and stiffens for a winding road driving experience on par with BMW Sporty or X5S and yes, with the Porsche Cayenne. It's even more complex when a body roll control system gets fused on the most expensive versions, but with its standard setup alone, and particularly with the added weight of the plug-in package, the Sport comports itself with grace. Once it leaves the streets, the Range Rover Sport has the hardware to plug deeply away at rarely used right-of-ways. Its traction systems spin into modes that alter shifts, throttle, and stability control to tailor responses for rocks, sand, and mud, while its suspension lifts to a maximum of 11.1 inches of ground clearance or 35.4 inches of waiting depth. It sports the uncanny ability to go exactly where the risk of scraping up a $100,000 luxury SUV is greatest and it does so with ease. The electronic controls, including control over front and rear differentials, knit all its talents together to take the mystery from off-roading. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.